Welcome back to McNulty's Book Corral. Today we're going to talk about George Washington, the first president of the United States. And I'm going to give you just a little bit of a rundown on which books are the best. So as far as doing biographies, Ron Chernow, who wrote the biography on Ulysses S. Grant that I showed you in a previous episode, is also the guy that wrote this mammoth book on Washington, A Life. Um, I consider this to be the best overall uh, definitive biography on Washington. Um, it's a wonderful book, very well researched. There are some illustrations. This covers every aspect of Washington's life, uh, you know, and there's really nothing left out. Um, we're going to get to some other different aspects in a moment. Uh, so um, if you're interested in nonfiction biographies, Washington, A Life by Ron Chernow. Ron Chernow is an award-winning biographer. So this is a great book. So that's the first one I wanted to show you. And then we're going to do this, this little thing here. Um, this is George Washington's Rules for Freemasons in Life and Lodge. And this was compiled by Mark Tabert, and we'll come to him in a moment, uh, with a foreword by Chris, Christopher Hodap. Now, I want to mention that... Um, George Washington practiced his handwriting. He practiced his handwriting from the Rules of Civility, which was a, a book available to him, and he copied those sentences and and so forth, and um, uh, learned how to write cursive. So the issue, though, is that some of these um, sayings became uh, part of Washington's lifestyle. He uh, he took to them and. Uh, I'm going to read one to you so you get an idea that that you can see what um, uh, he's talking about. So these are George Washington's rules for Freemasons in Life and Lodge. And so let me just give you one of them here. Be not angry at the table, whatever happens. And if you have reason to be so, show it not. Put on a cheerful countenance, especially if there be strangers. For good humor makes one dish of meat a feast. Great little wisdom from George Washington, which came from the Rules of Civility, and this little book is available at the uh, at the McCoy Masonic website. You can buy copies of it there. I think it's on Amazon, and uh, it's a great little book to have if you're interested not only in George Washington, but if you're interested in uh, Masonic lifestyle for you gentlemen in the crowd. Uh, that is a fraternal organization. Now, here's a book. Washington Master Mason. This came by uh, Alan E. Roberts. This came out, gosh, years ago. This is a really beat up copy that I've had for a long time. Um, and let's see if I can get the date here. So this is out of print. This is from 1976. And for many years, this book was considered the definitive book on Washington's uh, life as a Freemason. Um, there's another one out that's supplanting that. Now I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but again, we're talking about some of the best books on George Washington. Uh, however, if you're interested in his Masonic life uh, and the documentation available on that, this would be a key book to have. Um, back in the 70s, Washington Master Mason by Alan E. Roberts. Great little book to have. I wish I had a better copy. My interior is kind of rumpled up there. Um Let's get to the final two. Let's get to some more recent books. So this came out by Mark Tabert. Mark Tabert is the one that compiled the the uh, the rules, you know, the rules of civility, a little booklet that uh, Washington had been influenced by. He is a, a very important man. He is one of the uh, directors uh, of the Washington uh, Memorial. And uh, he recently published American Freemasons, Three Centuries of Building Communities, right here. And this is a great little coffee table book. I love the cover, isn't it? I have a scan of that. And this is also uh, profusely illustrated with a wide variety of uh, pictures and reproducing paintings and so forth. And this is a text on not just Washington, but it doesn't, it, I'm including it because it, Washington is, you know, the first president uh, who was a Freemason. And uh, this covers the Freemasons and their influence from that point on, on our government uh, and our society and the positive influence that they've had. Uh, so I am uh, recommending this book as well. 
in relation to Washington, Mark Tabbert obviously uh, is over at the Washington Memorial site and uh, is one of the directors there. And so, just came out. So Mr. Tabbert is a busy guy. That's the second of his books today. Finally, we're going to end with one that just came out. I mean, we're talking about right now. Um, also by Mark Tabbert. And Mark Tabbert just published a, a Deserving Brother, George Washington and Freemasonry. And this is a beautiful hardcover uh, published by the University of Virginia Press. It does have some illustrations, but it does not have as many as the other books and when it does have illustrations it's usually of some of the original documents that you can see there and so forth um this painting by the way of george washington wearing his masonic regalia is the only painting of washington that was created um from life he posed for this I think 1873, something like that. It's listed in the book. And uh, so this is a From Life painting. This is what George Washington looked like very late in his life. Uh, and it was requested uh, from a Masonic Lodge. His Masonic Lodge requested a painting from life. He posed for this. He sat there with his sash and his, his uh, apron on right here. And so that's what George Washington looked like. A little glum, perhaps. He was quite old at the time, long past the war, long past his presidency. Um, this will now take the place of this. All right, so this is going to become known as Washington's Definitive Masonic Biography. This is still a good book. You should still try to find this if you're interested in that, especially for you brothers out there who are looking for something to accentuate your personal Masonic library. Um, I try to buy the better reviewed, newer ones when they come out, uh, and I have a lot um, going back many, many years. But this is the um, brand new one. It just came out. This is March 2022. A beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, but again, this is mostly text. So, you know, it doesn't break it up like some of the coffee table books with images and so forth. It's really a, uh, a biography of Washington focusing on the aspects of his life and masonry and the craft. And so, highly recommended. If you, of all the books that I'm showing you, I think maybe this one start here. Uh, and add this to your personal Masonic library for you gentlemen out there who are uh, involved in the craft as I am. Uh, I would hope that you would be able to seek this book out. So I'm promoting it. I think it's a great book. And that, my friends, let's just post that up there. Uh, something a little different. Uh, American history is fascinating and wonderful to look at. And George Washington is one of my personal heroes. Until next time, I hope you stay well, stay happy, feed your brain, and read a book.